Hello boys and girls, it's another Bible Wednesday and today we're going to be talking about money. Alrighty, and we're going to be in some scriptures. So grab out your Bible and get ready. We're also going to be reading from a little book here. So why don't you start us off today? This is, oh I didn't introduce you. This is my banker, Marin. Nice to meet you guys. And uh, myself, I'm wise guy, Hannah. So take it away, Marin. Oh, thank you very much. Wise guy, Hannah. Have you, boys and girls, ever heard that money talks? It means if you have money to spend, people will listen and do what you want. There's another way money talks too, though. Mm -hmm. The way we spend that money mm -hmm. tells people a lot about us. Yeah, and if this year dollar bill could talk, what do you think it would say about you now? If you threw it away in the dumpster, or you ripped it up and tossed it out the window, what do you think that money would say? We've got to learn to, to use our money wisely. What's a way that we can use our money wisely, Marin? One way that we can use our money wisely is by saving it. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's a good point from a banker. Oh yeah, we want to be able to save our money because the Lord provides for us. Wow. And so we want to use it wisely. So when God does tell us to be able to use our money, we can do it in a manner that is pleasing to the Lord. That makes a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's read our scripture before we forget. Matthew, oh here it is. Matthew 6 verse 21. So turn there to kids. Alrighty. It says here, your heart will be where your treasure is. So where you choose to spend the money that you earn, it shows a lot about who you are, what you value, and what you think is important. So if we're using our money wisely, like my banker here, Maren's saying, and we're saving it, or we're giving it to someone in need, or even tithing to our local church, or here at the Rock of Roseville, because I've heard that's a pretty great place. Mm -hmm. Well, that shows a lot about what we value. And I think that's what Jesus was saying here when he said that it shows a lot about your heart where you put your treasure. Mm -hmm. And did you boys and girls know that when we receive money, that the Lord asks us to tithe? Do you boys and girls know what the word tithe means? Ooh, I don't think I do. Well, the word tithe means to give 10% of what you make back to the Lord. Because ultimately, he is the one providing for you and giving it to you. You know, I think I heard something about that. I think I heard something about that in Genesis. So like um, uh, somebody named uh, Abram? Abram, you are correct. Genesis chapter 14 verse 19 through 20 says this. Blessed be Abram by God most high, creator of heaven and earth, and praise be to God most high, who delivers your enemies into your hands. And then Abram gave a tenth of everything. Everything that Abram had, he gave it back to God, the ten percent, the first little part of everything he had. He gave it back to God, and I think that that's a great thing for us to follow Boys and girls, and you can do it too. You see, we have little buckets in each one of our classrooms, and I know that we're not meeting right now, and it's so sad, but next time you come into church, you can even start saving up right now, even if it's just a little bit from maybe an allowance you get during the week or some extra money you get for your birthday. You can save that up and be generous and give it back to the God who gave it to you first. So let's be like Jesus today. And would you bow your heads because we're going to pray us out today. Thank you so much, Jesus, for teaching us how to love you through our money. Lord, I pray that our money would speak for us, God. That it would show uh, everyone that we are kind and generous people who love you first. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, bye, boys and girls. Have a good one. Bye.